Hello there, it's Hunter, and today we're going to be playing some Europa Universalis 4. I'm going to be trying to get the definitely the Sultanate of Rum achievement with the Ottomans. This includes getting coal provinces on Roma, Constantinople, and Moscow, which I can't see on the map because of Terra Incognita. I tried this once, okay? And the only reason I didn't like achieve was because I took Roma in a war with Corfu and I took Corfu itself as well. And that sparked a huge coalition which wrecked me. But we will try this again. So the first thing to do advisors. It's only one we can take. Missionary strength. Diplotech, trade. That's actually quite a good one. And military tech. We could either take land maintenance or reinforce speed. Uh, I'd say. We already have a good force limit. I'd say land maintenance. Because we're going to build a lot of, like, even uh, militaries. So, first, we're going to focus on. Byzantium, the Byzantines. Take the mission to Avril to Zaya. This will give us a CB on Constantinople. Oh, rivals. Okay, okay. We'll rival Byzantium because why not? Hungary can go fuck themselves. And also, a long term rival will be Austria. I didn't want Poland to rival me, but it's okay, I guess. We'll also set France to friendly because we will be working with them sooner or later because we tend to ally, well I tend to ally France. Anyways, let's unpause I think it's time. Yes. Actually no, I think we can warn Akakonu first. Because he tends to declare war on these people here. And we also need to warn Caraman. Okay. Let's go. Okay, good. They're not allied to Serbia. Let's go. Early game is basically the sake of just sieging things down. We'll make six troops. I always do this anyway. You don't have to do this. And we just wait for things to siege out, really. Okay, so Serbia hasn't allied Byzantium and no trade league as of yet. So, what we could do at the minute is just. Take all these. Yeah, we need the leader. Sorry for that noise, that was Discord. <laughs> I... And we've got this. So what we could do at the minute is Send these troops. Because that 2k looks kind of threatening uh, where I am at right now. Oh, we haven't got enough men on that siege. Okay, that's fine. 
That's also fine. Would it really hurt to siege that? It wouldn't. Okay, good. But we just we don't want Venice to take that at all. That's the one thing I don't want in this playthrough. Declare one Albania. Let's just hope that we don't take too much of a hit here. Chase after him, squish. Squish? Squish. So, we're currently blockading Constantinople, and that's giving us our siege. Uh, progress at the minute so we're just gonna wait for this to siege and then we're gonna start focusing on this Aegean Sea I don't know how to pronounce it don't ask me to pronounce it please <laughs> yay we won that battle no now let's go here and blockade Actually, can we peace out? Yes, we can. Okay, good. Um, now we have the option to make Constantinople a capital, so we're not going to call Constantine. Because that would be a waste of admin points. And... We have corruption that we need to root out, which I forgot about. Okay, now we need to go and blockade, uh, I think it's the Salento, Ostranto, Ostranto, I, I don't know how to pronounce foods. My linguistic skills are inadequate, okay. Alright, low ranking official in our government has distinguished himself and proven to be a very reliable administrator. Able, sorry. He may be deserving for a promotion, but there is one problem. He is not Muslim. Dun dun dun! All attempts to force his conversion have met with failure, and there are many who demand his immediate dismissal. So this guy is an infidel, and he Hello, is. Infidel. Hello, brother. Oh, sorry about that. That was my brother. Um, he ruined the recording, as always. <laughs> you can't be trusted to dismiss him, or no, we need his skills. Hmm. I want the high piety. So we're gonna pick the dismiss. So a siege is really done, as you can see. The siege of Albania. Yay, it's over. So we'll annex you, please. Okay, good. Now we can make Constantinople our capital, I think, so. Yes. We want all this piety. If you don't know what piety is, piety is basically devotion to faith. Let me show you the system actually. So low piety gives you a bonus in tax, manpower and technology cost. High piety, which is what I'm at right now, gives you a bonus on missionary strength, morale of armies and fort defense. This basically just makes your armies and missionaries better. Which is good for me since I have most of my land as Sunni. No, all orthodox. As you can see. 
and I have 88 villagers here in the two. Surprisingly, out of this. So we're gonna. Oh, okay, that's good. That's actually really, really good. Auto save. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go and attack Kanda. Which should be a re relatively easy war. Actually, can we get Dog Goodyear to break the alliance? I don't think we should, should do that. We should just fully annex. Remove this fort because it's just useless. And we'll go in for the kill. It would be also helpful, wouldn't it, to threaten war. Okay, good. That's one call. Can we threaten these guys? No, we can't. <clears throat> so now we declare war on Dalkadir. No, Kanda. That's it. Take the capital, please. We're gonna take a river cross, and it's not a big of a deal. There we go. The siege of my land, I believe. Hey, don't do that. There we go. Squish. There will be blood. I didn't catch that. We could also blockade if our ships are available. Like that. And this siege should be complete any day now. In three days to be precise. Take you back to Constantinople. Take you back to Constantinople. We're just going to try and limit the amount of manpower we're using up. Actually, we may as well send the full 3k from Constantinople to Dalkadir. That would be a good idea. I like the guns, drums, and steel pack because it just brings more life to this CU4. <laughs> I'm just hearing loads of the DLC music. Our subjects have taken to telling tales and legends about old rulers. The legend says that in the Ottoman's darkest hour he will return to a nation and deliver it from evil. Regardless of truth in that statement, we could use this in our propaganda. Sure. Yearly prestige, why not? Now let's look at Austria. Who is their rival? France. And Venice, but they don't like me. I'd say let's improve relations with France quick. Yeah, that, that's the only guy who will possibly have an alliance with. What's their likelihood of allying me? Not very likely at the minute. But we'll get there. Still sieging. 
both of them. Can we also send Mamluks a warning? No, we cannot. Military power. What I usually do, I usually wait until Militech 6 to be able to attack the Ottomans because I know that they don't get institutions as easily as we do. Neither do anyone outside of Europe, really. Okay, so our Caraman Siege, not Caraman, Kandar Siege is nearly complete. So we can do something with that in a few minutes or two. So, so. Gained a trader. Okay, so we've won the siege of Sinop. Let's see what they'll give us. This is what we want. So what we'll do is separate piece. Dog the deer, get some cash from them, and then peace out with Kandar and get some cash from them so we get more money. The siege is done. Go to the peace deals. It's obvious what we want. We want Malatia and Marash and all of your money please. That's done. And we want Castamanu and Sinop. Sorry for any of the Turkish um, people watching this YouTube video. I am not Turkish and my pronunciations are garbage. Thanks. <laughs> and we're going to take that. So I'm going to take a break here. We've taken all of these core provinces. We just need to wait for the truce of Caraman or Cameraman <laughs> to um, end, which is in about a year now subscribe if you have not done so leave a like and comment suggestions for next few videos and achievements that you want me to do and i'll see you guys in the next video peace